hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Nguma B I'm a lifestyle blogger a Cameroonian lifestyle blogger and I make videos from Yaoundé Cameroon so you're highly welcome if this is your first time seeing me see my face I'm so happy that you came to watch this video um, I hope that this video does not disappoint you and that it gives you all that you need to know definitely today we are talking about blogging yeah like I mentioned before I'm a blogger and um, it's been close to four years wait I started in I think 2016 sometime in 2016 so let's see 16 17 18 19 20 yeah that's four wow four years um so it's been four years of learning a lot four years of trying and error trying and making so many mistakes so many mistakes but it's been four years which i've gained a lot of knowledge about um about blogging and how it is when it comes to blogging um so today i wanted to do this video because i realized that a lot of people have should I, I don't want to call it misconceptions but i want to call it um i don't know what to call it but some people <laughs> okay let's say some people have some information about blogging which is not complete okay i don't want to say that that information is not right okay but the information is not complete because they don't know that you can have a blog and you blog for free and you can do so many things with a free blog many people who uh who talk about blogging always talk about the money part you have to buy this you have to buy that you have to invest of course there's money because internet is not free but at the same time blogging can be done for free and there's absolutely no problem blogging for free let no one make you feel guilty or feel bad that you're blogging for free so um before we continue what is blogging blogging is always a blogger a blogger is someone who owns a blog okay and what is a blog a blog is the platform online where you can write articles or share information in articles uh, about maybe a passion something you like or something you just want to share with people or where you can just entertain people with your write-ups so um, blogging has been existing for a very long time now it's true that with us in Africa or Cameroon it's not it's so actually in Cameroon it's not really well known you know and that has put us in a place where we feel like we are right behind because people are doing big things with blogging like people are are living on blogging there are so many bloggers who are self-employed and their blogs provide like fun for their families blogging has become a full-time job for so many people around the world and honestly that's my dream for myself like i want to become a full-time blogger and say oh blogging is paying my bills paying my luxuries taking care of me and my family okay but yeah it comes gently and so far i've learned so much i want to share with you guys uh what i have learned it's going to be a series of, of videos but i wanted to do this first video for us to talk about what blogging is and what are the opportunities and we, we can have with blogging and like uh what qualifies us to become a blogger and just every other thing around blogging um so today <laughs> i had a conversation with somebody i've never never met this person and uh, he saw my instagram profile and like my pictures left some comments and then wrote to me saying hi we just talked and he was like he's from he's a congolese uh he, he sees i'm a cameroonian he we just had a nice talk he told me he's been to cameroon and then ne next thing he asked me what do you do and i told him i'm a blogger and he responded to me saying 
oh i apologize but to me blogging is not uh it's not a career it's not a job yeah because he said it in french metier meaning job so blogging is not a job and honestly i wasn't surprised because somehow when i said blogging i also could feel myself cringe like <laughs> i could feel myself cringe inside saying but would this person will be asking me that no yes but what is your real job so i just said okay blogging and he told me i'm sorry but to me blogging is not a job and i'm like you don't have to be sorry okay that's just your opinion and this got me thinking about a number of things for the longest time ever like ever since i started blogging this has been one of the things that have made me to feel so bad like honestly feel so bad like i'm like okay so if i actually make money through this thing and i'm actually living on this would i really call this a job would i be respected because of this thing i do called blogging and it can be so funny how um something that you love to do something you enjoy doing something that you can be so successful in can make you at the same time to feel so devalued because other people do not see it that way you know with us africans i'll say africans because it's, it doesn't happen only in cameroon uh, we feel that a job is something we wake up we go to we work we come back and also something that people really see the impact people have to say yes i see this i feel you impacting and like in, when it comes to medical doctors lawyers and teachers we really see what they do we see their impact but with blogging you can be in your own corner writing your own stuff nobody feel, when you say blogging people are always like blog what kind of work is that even if you're making money someone wants to tell you please go out there and get a job so it's and it's worse when you are not making a dime or you're not making enough that one is even worse so yeah if you're someone who's been feeling that way know that you're not the only one i feel that way but today i really felt good talking to this person and getting this response and being able to tell him that's his opinion because indeed that is just his opinion it's it has nothing to do with me and it has nothing to do with my vision and the things that i plan to do and people are entitled to have their opinion but if you'll be asking the question blogging is a job blogging fits employees and takes care of people blogging is a real job and people do it full time and it's a lot of work okay don't think writing an article is very easy or all the things that you see on the website is just done by magic no it takes a lot of work for you to see what people go through to write out and to have a website even if it's a free one it's a lot of work so that said let's move into why you should start a blog why you should own a blog so um so people own blogs because they enjoy it like me i enjoy blogging like i enjoy writing actually informing people through writing ever since i've been in secondary school i just realized that i write my feelings down i write them better than i say them or speak um so blogging just came naturally like if you're that kind of a person who is not comfortable talking to people directly but you want to still create impact blogging is great for you if you're the kind of person who enjoys sharing information teaching people educating people entertaining people uh, and you love to write then blogging is for you if maybe you're a journalist and you can't find a job blogging is a good start it can enable you to to show your skill and enable you to get a job people use blogging to get jobs like it helps you to showcase what you can do and when people see that they are able to say oh this person can do this i can see proof of what this person can do and i can employ this person it helps you to improve on your communication skills uh, i have improved a lot since i started blogging yeah you're not just born a good writer you also have to practice so when you practice you blogging gives you that opportunity to practice your writing and improve your communication like you've really realized how to put information in a way that somebody can easily understand and if you can write it well then 
if you don't know how to speak you can just read what you wrote so blogging helps you to improve your communication skills and it helps you to just it helps you learn a lot because you in the course of blogging you have to read from other people you have to follow other people and it puts you in a good place to learn to to, 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 to acquire a lot of knowledge not only on blogging but on other stuff because people blog about so many things and you'll be visiting so many blogs just to learn how to blog so there's a guarantee that you'll be learning a lot of things on general knowledge and stuff so what are the conditions to start blogging this is very very important um, and this is where there's a myth um the people i've come across who have asked me about uh blogging and uh, how it works had this thought in their mind in the past i'll call it the past because thankfully they have put behind all that <laughs> all that thought um they had in their mind that you must you must have money for a domain name for a hosting whatsoever in order to be a blogger please i understand that people who want to who want to uh, 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 encourage others to buy domain names and all the like and be like i don't know what we're supposed to call it professional bloggers but they're bloggers who are not owning uh, hosting sites who are professional bloggers uh, but if, if you want to sell your domain name and your hosting site and all the like uh, I don't think it is right to make people to believe that they must they must buy a domain name to be a blogger that is so wrong because there are free sites people can blog on those free sites forever and ever until the host decides that I've had enough and I want to shut down and yeah i know that's the risk but at the same time guys you can blog for free for for a very long time as long as your host exists your blog is going to exist as long as you do not go against the rules of your host you will have a blog and it will the only difference is that your link is going to have an extra dot something like mine has a blogspot.com but apart from that you can blog for free without any problems and it is always advantageous to blog for free on a free site because so people are not cut out for blogging blogging is not for everyone yes you might like to share your ideas you might like to write but you might not have time to write meaning that you might not be able to blog you might not enjoy blogging in the long run some people blog for a few months a few days a year two three and soon they don't they, they don't feel like blogging again and they drop it and move on to something else so what if you go buying a domain name and in the next one week two weeks six months you realize that you no longer want to do this thing that's a lot of money going to the drain for nothing and especially with us on this side of the country or continent and buying domain names and Going in into all those um, web design and all the like, it costs a lot of money. So if we have to invest into something like that and come to realize that we cannot block anymore or we cannot keep up because there's also the, you, there's an amount you pay almost every year when you start paying. You start paying this every year and you can come to realize that next year you might not have money. You will lose that domain name and you will not be able to block again because you understand so but to answer that question we have the free and the paid but honestly if you don't have money or you do just want to try blogging and see what's happening please put that paid version at the side and do the free version i am blogging on the free platform and i don't even see myself buying a domain name anytime soon i thought uh maybe by now i would have already it's true at one point I was tempted, but I just felt like I was following the crowd. People were telling me a lot about buying a domain name, it makes you look professional. Yes, it does, but there is nothing wrong having a .blogspot or .wordpress.com blog. And if you are serious and you, you will have traffic as much as someone who has a domain name, all of us still struggle to have traffic to our blogs. 
all of us who struggle to have people visit our blogs or people uh, 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 subscribe to our blogs and all the like so i would say concentrate on on building your blog because even when you have the free site you can always upgrade so start with the free until when you feel ready or you feel like yes i want to be doing this thing for a very long time or i want to have this space for a very long time and then you can now upgrade if you feel like it but if you don't feel like it you can keep blogging on your free site there are people who have made money with their free blogs before even thinking of upgrading so i am going to be teaching you guys how to blog and look professional on a free site like a hosted site hmm? a free blog that is either blogger or wordpress well i'm not very used to i'm not very versed with wordpress so i'm going to be uh, talking mostly about blogger because that's where i have blogs i've tried wordpress but wordpress does not really give me what i want so i prefer blogger blogger you can customize and modify so many things so i prefer blogger but i'm going to be showing people guys all that i know everything and uh, just share with you guys all the knowledge that i've acquired all these years that i learned by myself like just going to the internet searching google has been my teacher my mentor my best friend <laughs> so um, i'm just going to be teaching you guys i'm going to be doing uh, a series of videos and alongside other videos as well but I'm going to be doing a series of videos on blogging and how to go about it. So I just hope my Cameroonian friends and future bloggers are going to be following this series, especially if you're going to be into lifestyle blogging. Okay, I don't want to go into the kinds of blogs we have in Cameroon and all whatnot, but I just want to share with you guys that we need more lifestyle bloggers in Cameroon, please please lifestyle and other things you guys should leave people should cool it down with the entertainment it's so saturated so and even if you want to do entertainment there is a way of doing it that is going to fetch you so much but everyone is just doing the same thing and it's all just so shallow thank you guys for watching i just hope that this video was useful and it was really enlightening on blogging and all that it takes on blogging if you're interested i'll really be very very happy if you can subscribe because i'm going to be making more videos like this about blogging and i really hope it's going to help you to create a beautiful and a useful blog that you enjoy writing on and people are going to enjoy visiting so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye